Can you use uh, numbered heads together? So on your whiteboards, wait a minute, on your whiteboards, you're going to try and work out this problem. Okay? Numbered heads together. First of all, 23 times 3. Use any method that you know to try and figure that out. Share with the class, share with the group what you did. Can you explain to your team? Brayden, this is Anya. How did, how did you work it out? Okay, is it is it three times two or is it three times twenty? Do you guys think he's think, think she's right? What answer have you got, Brayden? Good. Brayden, you've done two times twenty-three. Three times twenty-three. Okay, right. Which answers do you think you got right? Which answer is right? 23. 23. 63. What do you think on this label? 69. What do you think, guys? 69. 69. What do you think? 69. Good. 69. 69 is the correct answer. Who would like to tell us how they did it? Ming Ming, how do you do yours? Good, so use column method. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 2 is 6. Very good, well done. Uh, have I got a different method somewhere? Who's got a different method? Me. Brayden, what did you do? Uh, I 46. Pardon? 46. 46? What was the right answer? Uh, 69. 69. <laughs> did you get it right? No. No, right, okay, so 69. How did you get 69? Jet, you got a bit different answer, didn't you? How did you do yours? Um, so, um, Let's have a look. You can um, do um, 3 plus 3 plus 3, that equals 1, and 2 plus 3 plus 2, that equals 6. So, that's how I did it. Right, excellent. So, Jet used column addition, repeated addition, to work out his modification. Use repeated addition with a column addition. Okay? Very good. Awesome. Okay, can you wipe your boards clean, put them on the way nice and tidily, and we'll look at multiplying two digits, three digits. 